Say it with me. I am not called to natural mindedness. We are called to be spiritually minded. Do we see natural mindedness within the church? All day long. All day long. We run in fear. Can I get a witness? Oh my gosh, we run in fear. And we've got every excuse in the world to run in fear. We don't run in fear as individuals. We run in fear corporately. In mass, we run in fear. We're not worldly minded. That's worldly mindedness. Any decision made in fear is always the wrong one. Write that down. Holy Spirit doesn't speak fear. It is not in the heart of God fear. He does not understand it at all. Any decision you make out of fear is always the wrong one. I didn't say you didn't make a decision and you were afraid to do it, right? There's a difference. God told you and you're kind of afraid. You don't know where this is going, but you do it anyway. That's different than being just completely freaked out and just impulsively reacting to fear. That's wrong. I make hard decisions all the time. I'm about to do another one right? very soon here. God help me. And I'm not, and I know clearly what God is saying. And I'm afraid. <laughs> But that doesn't mean God hasn't told me. So am I making the decision out of fear? No, I'm making the decision out of faith because faith overcomes fear. The fear is telling me not to. So I'm not reacting to the fear. If I was reacting to the fear, I wouldn't make the decision because the fear now has driven me in a different direction. We're naturally minded. We're called to be spiritually minded. Romans says this, Romans 8, the carnal mind is the enemy of God. For it is not subject to the word of God, nor can it be. Those who walk in a carnal or worldly mind cannot please God. You cannot please God. So the Christian that operates in the mindset of the culture on earth as it is in heaven is how we're supposed to think. We're not supposed to think like CNN, MSNBC, who God knows whoever is influencing you. The pack, you know. Dare I say it? Dr. Fauci, dare I say it? I know, I said it. I said it. Bad pastor bad pastor. Dr. Fauci's not my prophet. That offends you? Take it up with Jesus. <laughs> reeling myself back in, just reeling it back in. All good. We're not called to walk by natural mindedness, Christian. It's death, the Bible says. To be naturally minded produces death. Nothing good. And you cannot please God from natural mindedness. It says the carnal mind is enmity with God or the enemy of God. He uses a noun here. This isn't a verb. So it's not my thoughts are what the enemy of God. That's not what he's saying. Because people think that the thoughts are, what the, are what's working. It's not the thought. It's the mind itself. He uses the noun, the carnal mind, the noun, the personhood of the mind, the thing of the mind. That, that thing itself is the enemy of God. It cannot and will not subject itself to God. Won't. That's why you need the mind of the Spirit and you need the mind of Christ. This is what the Scripture is saying. So you can't fulfill, you cannot honor the Lord if you walk with worldly counsel, if you walk with a carnal mind, if you're doing everything everybody else is doing and you're thinking like the world. We don't think like the world. We don't act like the world. We don't use our money like the world. We don't treat our bodies like the world. We don't, we don't do any of this. We're peculiar people. We don't think like that. We don't act like that. Doesn't mean you don't make mistakes. You're going to make plenty of them. Lots of them. That doesn't disqualify you. A willful disobedience is what sets you aside. Not, not salvation, but destiny-wise. Come on. There are two minds. You have the natural mind and you have the supernatural mind. Which one do you want? Come on, man. Right? Don't we want the supernatural mind? And he gives it to you. He gives it to you. It's yours. You just got to learn it. You have to learn it. Romans 12, 1, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so living sacrifice, so it's hard, right? I beseech you, I exhort you, I encourage you, present yourselves a living sacrifice. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. There's going to take some sacrifice on your part to go through transformation, but it says you will prove the acceptable will of God. So here you have Romans 8 saying, if you walk in the natural mind, you will not honor the Lord. If you walk, Romans 12 is saying, if you walk in the mind of the spirit, the will of the perfect will of God will come forth from your life. Well, it's showing us, it's telling us. Yes, come on. 